Hello. I am here because I had some requests to see what we were using for our math curriculum this year. Um, we have a sixth grader and an eighth grader. Um, so I'm popping on to share with you what we have chosen for both of them. Um, so I will start with my sixth grader. Um, she worked in Math Mammoth 5 A and B last year, and it worked really well for her. So we have decided to continue with Math Mammoth this year. Um, the way it works, there are two books, um, and then you can get all of the um, teacher books and answer keys and tests and everything online. Um, you can go through Math Mammoth, I think it's mathmammoth.com. I usually get, get the books at Rainbow Resource um, because they go on sale there sometimes, and then I will purchase the PDF version of everything else. Um, and then all of the instructions take place. So this is sixth grade, sorry. So they go through a review of the basic operations, expressions and equations, decimals, ratios, and percents. And that is just in this book. There is a second book, um, which I did not think to pull down and show you guys, but this is only the first half of the semester in theory. So first, let me come back here. So the way it works, this is the beginning of a new chapter, and this is the instruction. And the level of instruction changes from unit to unit, just depending on what's going on. But what happens is the instruction takes place and then there's some problems and then more instruction takes place and then there's some problems and this is all the direction that they get, generally speaking. Now, that being said, Maria, the person who built this curriculum, does have a bunch of videos posted on YouTube. Um, so if you encounter a situation that you're not sure how to do it, um, she teaches it and she teaches it really well. Um, I'm not sure to what extent the videos are on there. To be honest, we've only used them once or twice. Frequently, I will, um, if we run into something that I just don't remember how to do or I'm not sure how to teach it to her, I'll pop onto Khan Academy. And the information that you see here matches pretty closely there, or it will at least give me enough of a, a brain boost that I will remember how to teach her how to do something. So um, these pages of work can be a little bit on the heavy side depending on your kiddo. So I was gonna show you kind of how we use it. So what happens is we've only done a week's worth of math in here, so there's not a lot done. But I will go through and I will circle the problems that I want her to complete. And usually I'll do about a unit at a time. And then I will go back and I will correct them. And so we will, anything that she has a problem with, she might put a question mark next to it or she might've just gotten it wrong. So if I circle it in red, we'll go back and we'll rework it. This one was literally just a mathematical error. So I did not make her redo any of the other problems. What will happen is if she gets one wrong, I think I might've circled like two of these. I went back, we reworked this one together and then I had her go in and complete a couple more. Um, so if it's something that she knows really well, I'll let it go. And if it's something that, um, you know, if it was a silly mistake, I'll, I'll let it go. But if it seems like it's something that she's really struggling with, um, then we'll do more. So you'll see here again, we worked through that one and then I had her come back and do this one. Same thing here. And then we did this one. Um, so long division for her has been a forever challenge. We worked on her multiplication facts to make it easier and it has gotten better but it is just one of those things that um, it's a challenge for her. So it is what it is. But um, so we'll go back and that'll be our one-on-one -on -one time is we'll go back and we'll rework problems together. Um, so that being said, I had heard great things about Beast Academy. And so I purchased this over the summer for her. If you have never seen Beast Academy, they have paper books and then they have an online program. You can get both or you can do one or the other. So inside of the instruction books, they are comics. And then during the recess breaks, they have little games that the kids can play. So my daughter saw this book, got very excited and said, I wanna try this this year. This looks so much fun. I purchased, these books are labeled as 4C. The grading is not quite accurate. I think this is closer to a fifth grade level. 
she's going into sixth grade, so I got these to kind of try. Now, I've heard Beast Academy is a little bit on the advanced side. Um, so let me get to my point. Long story short, before we even dug into this, I wanted her to do the assessment to kind of find where she sat because she thought it would be cool to be able to do the reading in person and then the online math aspect because I will get to it in a minute, but my son is doing his online. So I took her in here and she sat down and the concepts, even though they're ones that she learned in Math Mammoth, looked overwhelming to her. She knows what prime numbers are. She knows what factors are. But something about the way this book addressed it overwhelmed her. And she wasn't understanding what it was asking. Perhaps it's just different phrasing. Or um, I, I'm, I'm just not really sure. I do know that this works a lot with um, critical thinking skills. And for her, just doing the math seems to be challenge enough. Um, she has always been able to work very hard and maintain average for her age, but she has never been an excelling math kid. So I think that the concept behind this was a bit much. If anything, I thought it would be fun for us to read through the stories. She seemed to be interested in the comic book portion. Um, read through the stories and maybe even play the games, and we might use this as just like a supplemental um, material for the time being. But after one day of trying Beast Academy, she literally said, Mom, will you please go grab my Math Mammoth? I want to do Math Mammoth again this year. So that's good enough for me. It does not result in tears or frustrations. I'm good with that. So we are sticking with Math Mammoth for our main math curriculum for this year.